how would you describe Paul and Hanson? As a beautiful lady. When I see her, I think when I look at my wife that she had the, the stroke. When I see her, I always, I don't shout, but into, into me, I think she's a, she, she's one of mine. Can you take a photo of that? Have a look at it. Well, I'm in St George and actually there's a guy I've been told that I have to meet and his name is Stavros and he's actually the only emu egg carver that, well, that I know of anyway. So I'm going to go and meet him and say hi because I wouldn't miss it coming to see him and especially egg carving emu eggs and, and that's an amazing thing. I've seen a few in my time but anyway, let's see what sort of a, a job he does. Welcome home. Hello. Steve is my name. <laughs> Stavros. You are. <laughs> That's my wife. Is it? Red it. Red it. <laughs> Unfortunately, she had a stroke. Oh, She's she? in Toowoomba with my daughter. She's yeah. getting on all right. And if I take a photo with you, and she said, you'll make her day. <laughs> well, let's do that, right? Let's do that. This is you. That's me wife, there. And your wife. Oh, wow. That's me there, 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 there. Hey. There, everywhere. There, there. Good looking fella, aren't you? Aren't you, hey? There he is up there. That's him. Very nice. And. That is something oh, that so I nice. create as a hobby the last 200 uh, Really? Have you made all these? Yeah, that carved oh, in your egg display. It's gorgeous. Bar Barack Obama's beautiful. got an egg on his desk. <laughs> the America symbols on. Yeah. <laughs> Our Governor General Quinton Bright has got one there. That's his comment, her comment. They're absolutely beautiful. The work in this. They all tell a story. 1956 Olympics. Yeah. Oh. Commonwealth Games in Brisbane. Melbourne Olympics. The disaster Olympic in America. Torch. The year of peace. The bicentenary one. Sydney scenes. Royal visit to Australia for the Sydney Opera House opening oh, by the like Queen. Expo yeah. 88, the first marathon runner in Greece way back 1896. They went to Greece and back the year 2004 Olympics. And this is my latest egg that I carved, commemoration of the first, second world war, the red poppies, red carpet. Put a red light in to serve the purpose. Over 60,000 young Australians went to war in Greece and I never come back. And I was five, six years of age when our village got burned to the ground and two youngsters with the hat, they come here. The hat that somebody had, somebody in Australia I used to have an uncle here at the old Greek cafe. We took him with us for about five or six months and I think they made it. So the He's only eating. eggshell in the world was natural mm -hmm. colours. What you're looking at is nature's hidden secrets, nature's miracle. Now, as you can see this one here, when you remove the dark green layers, get lighter and lighter green till become white. The thickness of the eggshell give you white tan colours. Every egg is unique to its own colours and packages like a fingerprint. That one, and nature changed the colours. That one, when he first came into the world, he had eight or ten colours like that. Yeah. How many colours he changed from there to there? When he going to stop and how old it is, no one in the world knows anything about it. So what we're looking at, what we're talking about, it's unknown to the world. It's a whole world history in it. It's a beautiful, beautiful talent to know. It know. is. It is. It's Anything I... Yeah, very impressive. <laughs> very impressive. Don't show me get first, what you want. Show me your first one. There's my first one. 
What I do, I cut a round hole to the size of the light fitting, okay. clean them out inside, polish them with wet and dry, and treat them with liquid glass. Without the glass, you're wasting your time. Others usually put them on the end's nest to be cleaned out. Yep. They don't go any deeper than the first, second line. They, they wouldn't last there. Peterson He's got an egg on his back. Yes. She's got one there. Former Governor General. She's got one. Yeah. Barack Obama's got one. Tony Abbott's up there and Barack Tony Obama. Abbott's got a book, but he wrote Gee, nothing he missed it? out. He hasn't got an egg. <laughs> very, very good. And very nice. That's my book. That's for you. Matches your hair. <laughs> That's nice. Every time was the waxing zone, nice. all my mates. For my glasses, for my glasses in there. <coughs> That's for, yeah, you can put him in there, scratch proof on it. What, what you got to read and learn in that book, no one in the world knows anything about. Education for young and all. And that's for your mother, was it? Or your friend before? Oh, she, she's there. Yeah, she works and for me. And we might yes. give him one and, too, and eh? good mate here. <laughs> <laughs> that is lovely. <laughs> Thank you. We've got to have that photo. Yes, we'll have to take a photo. I'll take it to my wife. Yeah. And I hope she, I hope she recovers. Yes. Oh, yeah. Thank you. I know you. I'm just looking at the way you talk about it. You must love her very much. Yeah. You might go too.